So you started the company in 2012, and you took a public, I think, in April of 2021. The IPO was an enormous success, and I think at the end of that day, uh, your company was worth maybe $75 billion or more, uh, and you were personally worth, I think, about $10 billion or more. The company's stock has come down about 80% uh, in recent times, in part because of FTX and other things that have happened in the crypto world. So how does it feel to be worth $10 billion one day and not too long after, a lot less? Well, you know, it's obviously been a difficult market for not just crypto, but also really all growth tech and biotech, I would say, too. So, you know, we're in good company. Netflix and Spotify and all these, these companies have also come down similar amounts. We knew that going public would not be an easy path, especially with as a, in a new industry, being a leader. We wanted to be the first crypto company to go out there. And we kind of assumed that it would take, you know, three, four years to go through a cycle, begin to educate, build trust in the public markets. And so that's the process we're going through now. And, you know, my own personal um, net worth is, is not something that is particularly motivating to me in the sense of like driving personal consumption or something like that. I'm, I'm excited about building the things with technology and cryptocurrency is one of the most exciting areas out there right now. So, um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to keep working on this company for the next hopefully decade or two. And um, I think it's an exciting road ahead.